good afternoon all on behalf of iot academy we welcome you all for the second session of national level faculty refresher program on quality teaching and strategies in heis let me introduce the resource person of today's session dr gurusami dr gurusami is currently working as principal evanas degree college bangalore karnataka his educational qualifications include mba mphil and phd he has over 18 years of experience in teaching he has to his credit eight indian patents and five australian patents he has published numerous articles in scopus ugc and other national and international journals and has also published eight books dr gurusami has been conferred with numerous awards some are teachers transforming india award best faculty award and outstanding scientist award he is the academic advisory board member in universities and autonomous colleges he is also the member of editorial board and reviewer in journals we welcome you sir and with this we hand over the session to dr gurusami sir please yes thank you madam you welcome sir Is it visible, madam? Yes, sir. Hello, madam. Yes, sir. It is visible, sir. Okay. Right, sir. One minute, madam. Yes. Uh, very good afternoon, to all. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you know IOT Academy, Prime Two, for uh, giving me a very good opportunity uh, to take over the session, e-content development, basics and excellence. Okay, as well as I would like to thank our Ebenezer uh, Group of Institution Management okay, for uh, permitting me to uh, take this session. Right. So uh, today we are going to discuss about e-content development. The academic knows everything, but here I am going to share a few, uh, few important things. Okay, how to technically prepare the new contents uh, uh, and which is more very helpful to the students side, right? So the first thing we should know that uh, what do you mean new content? Okay, then. Uh, e content electronic okay. technology is digital for us. Notes, you know, the black and white. So it is like books or you know, digital for for students at the point of view and the uh, for uh, for not uh, to connect the you know, uh, many institutions. Uh, so we are not let us do you know, e contents. Okay, so whatever you are preparing and the present day, how you present in the Sorry for interrupting, sir. There are some disturbances in your voice, sir. My voice, madam. Sir, so there are some disturbances in your voice, sir. Your uh, voice is breaking at times. Yeah, it is audible, sir, but sometimes it is breaking, sir. Okay, all right. Now audible, madam? Hello, madam? Yes. So, whatever content you are preparing, with the help of uh, uh, you know the uh, any uh, software or any uh, technologically right so we can present into the students or in the conference or any things okay with the help of uh, mobile phone electronic devices right so then with the help of internet so that is a e contents right 
it will be into the various electronic media station like on video sir then audio systems and graphics and images and all coming on this sort of we can use uh, is it for for you now electronic contents right so now in the you know when are we preparing the you know e content okay so various element is it be this you know is be considered right so whatever content you are preparing whatever you know the subject you are preparing for notes uh, first you should know that what is the objective objective of the particular the course or particular contents and uh, you should be map your subject you know with your objectives course objectives first uh, you know the syllabus okay the course objectives there right so based upon the course objective how you are you are both going to uh, you know the meet the course you know course objectives right you should make this some you know course you know subject mapping and there should be some somebody means information or the, you know word about the particular subject you know, terms and in the content is uh, in very case studies and posts uh, and what are the videos audios we are using and uh, it should give the you know assignments it are these every models for example the particular subject is this every model say in the models you should give the you know assignments assignments means some questions you can ask uh, then uh, you know uh, the age or questions uh, or no uh, true or false questions or you know uh, multiple choice questions uh, you can ask uh, then you can give some assignments to the students uh, right so uh, then the references what are so you are available uh, to the students uh, and the key terms in the some typical key terms uh, and the particular content is available then you can give the download link also you can give and the who's prepared the subject expert right the content expert the content details you can give right these are all different but uh, we want to you know the uh, how to prepare the content model right as per the syllabus the first step is e, e text second step is screen planning third step is you know learn to source for further reading and web resources and last step is no self assessment excuse me sir as a question which you know yes sir sir again yes, your voice is breaking Hello? sir sir again your voice is breaking sir so can you please change the location and try it out sir yes sir Hello. Yes, sir. Audible. So you are okay. audible, sir, but uh, there are uh, some disturbances. So your voice is breaking. Right. I'm setting the good network area. I don't know. Okay. Yes, oh. no issues. I can take your time, sir. Okay, right, Pana. So there are four steps involving in the e content model. Okay, so now I'll explain one by one. E text. First one is e text. Okay, e text means that, right? So minimum eight pages. Okay, whatever model you are preparing, each model, right? At least eight pages required. It should be in the word documents, and the maximum, the minimum three thousand words sir, in your the documents, right? So it should be give you a detailed write up about the particular. model okay so for example uh, model one okay to the explanation right so that then that document should be prepared in the the doi you know document you know in uh, you know, text format any for any one format it can be prepared but it should be each model should be this then I know uh, eight page. Uh, sorry, it should be minimum eight page. Uh, uh, minimum eight pages and minimum three hundred words each and every model. And uh, so the same model we can use with some images because uh, you can use some animations, some uh, some graphics, uh, right? Uh, some videos, uh, some links. We give. You know, it will be very attractive to the you know the you know the uh, you know audience or readers or viewers, right? So each and every model should use some. appropriate images suitable images right uh, then the clarity also the 600 dpi 
then this one and you can use this you know, you know uh, suitable animations and videos uh, audio clips uh, then drawings uh, and these are all helpful to attract the you know uh, students and the readers and easy to understandable and also each and every model you should give some exercises maybe some illustrations some practical sums uh, and the practical exercises and you know okay who are all you know the reading the particular con uh, particular uh, model okay so it will be helpful to them right because uh, how we can you know the check uh, whether the student whether you know the the students are uh, you know understood or you know they learn something or not right so here the self check exercise is helpful to know that what are the problems uh, facing by your students and uh, how we can answer the uh, students right this is all very helpful in the e context e text and uh, here in the each and every model should give uh, the practical examples and the day to day you know, uh, the day to day life what is happening so that and all examples we can give in this detailed manner and also right so the end of the model right so each and each and end you know each and every end of the model you should give the some summary some brief right so the definitions some meanings or uh, important points you can summarize in of the model each and every unit and also if it is you know uh, whenever it is necessary you should give the you know some sections some you know uh, some sections uh, some you know uh, subsections uh, this and all we can give so you yes, are entire entire unit you know, the entire unit should be divided into different uh, sections okay so different section means uh, like you no know, uh the main uh, the main thing and subject this and all we can use the right and the, uh so then if it is necessary we can use the you know this one for example you know uh, sub subsections okay actually whatever document we are preparing e text preparing it should be in the there are two type of uh, the text format we can use one is text to diploma and second one is area in the e text right so the font size should Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Dear participants, the research person will be joining us soon. He has some network issues. We are sorry for the inconvenience. He will be joining us soon. Hello, madam. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, audible, madam. 
Yes, sir, it is audible now, sir. Yes. So, uh, whatever you know, the heat text you are preparing, you should use with some you know, sections, subsections. Right? Then you can use the, any two, uh, you know, the font size, like you know, Times New Roman or Arial. You can choose. But uh, once you are deciding any uh, one, either no Times New Roman or Arial, you should use the entire, uh, you know, heat text only one font size and one font name, right? And uh, you should choose the any for you know uh, any style. Okay, suppose you no know, uh, numbering one, two, three, four, five, you know, subdivisions uh, or uh, any uh, you know any numbering you are using means same number should be used. For example, one, two, three like that, or one point one, one point two, one point three, then or one point one point one or one point two point one, one point two point two. So suppose you no know, section means suppose one, subsection means one point one. Then sub subsection means one point one point one. So like that, we should be use the you know uh, the numbers for section of headings and the subheadings and the uh, you know sections also, right? And uh, number two, same planning. Okay, same planning. We should use some multimedia, right? So the multimedia means uh, right you now the animations, uh, documentary, simulations, uh, everything we can use. Uh, but uh, so why we are using the animations, uh, multimedia? means uh, it will be helpful to explain the topic okay so what is the importance of the main topics uh, and uh, we can uh, we can include the some animations you know the uh, you know multimedia it will be attract the you know uh, the students to understand you know to read and to understand the concepts and also we can use the you know audio narrations uh, right and the voice over the text uh, so below you know when you are using you know ppt so that time we can use the some audio narrations also and uh, and then we can use the you know uh, appropriate you know examples okay you know illustrations uh, case studies uh, right so this and all we can use it whenever it is you know necessary and whenever it is applicable right so we can use some examples case studies this and all we can use and uh, and if you are using any videos means uh, right it should be 30 minutes it should be 30 minutes not uh, not one hour not like that okay so it should be you know duration of the any video should be 30 minutes and uh, and uh, no when you are using the videos you should be less than 25 minutes of your time right and uh, uh, you know you can you know you can use some graphics in the videos includes uh, the graphics animations uh, then powerpoint presentations uh, any visible effects uh, right and the sound effects we can use uh, okay uh, use it in the you know the video you know self planning models and uh, and uh, you know the video, the video, uh, you know the video format should be MP4 format, MP4 format. Under uh, the quality of video, we should check the quality of video, right? So the minimum pixel is uh, 720 and uh, you know, uh, into you know, uh, 576 minimum pixel required. Under uh, the frame, okay, 25 the frame or second it should be used. Under uh, uh, you know TVL, TVL roughly resolution should be you know 450 minimum under. Uh, 450 mbps is required for each and every you know templates okay and then we should check the quality the quality of your audio so we should use the appropriate you know the mic systems and uh, camera everything should be checked so because uh, the expert or you know the teacher uh, you know they, they are not uh, demonstrating any concept uh, they want to appear they, they want to uh, show their face and uh, uh, they want to talk something to in front of the camera to the students so in the, the particular material so that time so the camera should be uh, you know a very good clarity of camera and very good uh, you know uh, clarity of you know uh, the audio okay so everything is required and uh, see the duration of the powerpoint presentation whatever you know uh, materials are prepared when you are going to present uh, right it should be avoid the long blocks of text okay so it should be very short and then easy to understand about and we can use some bulletins so here also the presentation we are using different colors okay so uh you know uh, you know the orange color we're using and you know, black color using and the bulletins 
okay so it is uh, easy to attract the you know learners and readers so the fonts we can use you not know, the arial or verdana at times roman anything but uh, the fonts should be less than 20 okay, less than 20 so uh, so appropriately you know the normal font size is okay you know the 11 or 12 okay but uh, you can you know it depends upon these slides right you can change the you know uh, the font size uh, font size but it should be less than 20 so what purpose for more clarity of the your presentations and uh, number three okay learn more web resources supplementary materials right so here uh, you know when uh, you know uh, when your students uh, are you know uh, any learners uh, they are you know, they are referring your notes uh, so that time so we require we should provide the appropriate resources okay so supplementary material supplementary means uh, additional and the supporting materials supplementary means not primary it's a supporting okay, apart from the particular you are you know e content okay students want to know or learn something new about the uh, additional information required me you should give the you know some references references web links uh, books uh, names uh, article names uh, where where you are collected the you know the uh, respective uh, notes uh, or material okay so you should give you know this you know books okay you know uh, the author of the books uh, author or book name author name and publisher name which year like everything we can provide right and uh, then articles articles also should provide research articles uh, research papers uh, everything we can provide to the you know the you know uh, students uh, through the e content and also so whatever you know uh, content extra content required so we can provide the some open source content uh, some blogs uh, and the glossary the glossary nothing but right important terms okay what are the important terms uh, used in your you know e content so that content should be provided in the alphabetical uh, order number four okay self assessment okay so the self assessment okay helpful to the students uh, whether they understood or not okay so it should be provide minimum okay minimum okay, 12, 10 to 15 questions in each model which model means each unit should provide 10 to 15 questions uh, end of the you know the particular model right and uh, this uh, the you know, out of 10 to 15 questions uh, you can use the uh, multiple choice questions uh, okay multiple choice questions means uh, okay we can you know the ask one question below the question we can give the four options four options or five options we can provide a b c d like that right and after after the all the questions over then you can provide the answers right so not only multiple choice questions you can ask true or false questions statements everything okay but depends upon your you know your notes so these and all helpful to the students uh, too easy to assess okay whether they are they have any doubts or any clarification required and whether they learned uh so you know learn, learn something or not uh, okay so it is helpful to uh, you know that clarify these students uh, some doubts uh, and uh, we can try to uh you know uh try, try to you know the try to understand the students uh, the capabilities whether they are understood or not any doubts uh, and how to improve the notes right and uh, so the e-content uh, right so apart from the you know the, the text so many the animations the graphics uh, these and all should be used right so here whatever the concept you are explaining explaining in the text uh, right you should use the appropriate animations appropriate animation means uh, so today you see you know the my my presentations i'm using some different background colors right back side of this each and every slides and also and also uh, you know the, the text okay, the text you know the font uh, right the zooming zoom out uh, and the uh, you know, slide changing okay these and all helpful to uh, you know uh, attract the you know the attract the readers and uh, we can demonstrate whatever the topics and whatever matter information we can easily demonstrate to the audience and uh, that you know animation should be easy to uh, you know very smoothly and it should be very attractive manner should be used and uh, the colors okay the colors also appropriate colors because uh, the background you want color and uh, then you know the base of the background you should use the you know getting the color under uh, uh, you know the text color also see for example this uh, slider okay background one color but heading is black color under uh, the content okay the content each and every point uh, in the box type i given under white color you know uh, white color font 
are used. So these and all to attract the you know audiences. And uh, whatever animations you are using, you should be you know appropriate and easy to you know uh, easy to you know visualize and uh, to uh, and it is to understandable. And uh, the, each and every animation uh, is related to the particular the slide, whatever topic you are using related to, to the particular you know the topic means. Uh, it is will be helpful and it will enhance the learning capacity of the learning uh, learning ability of the you know readers. Under technical standards, technical standards means uh, so because already the first slide I told uh, okay e content means electronic the content okay so uh, we are you know, with the help of internet uh, okay we can use that e content so whatever content you are preparing you should be you know, easy to down, uh, easy to you know, download and you know, view in the various you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, various uh, you know, softwares. Like for example, Google Chrome. Today, most of the users uh, using Google Chrome and Internet Explorer and the Net uh, Net Cafe. Uh, you know, then Mozilla Firefox, you know, Mozilla Firefox, uh, Safari, Opera. So many you know uh, search engines are there. Okay, so the search engine all should be support. Okay, you are whatever e content you are preparing should be you know uh, match with the you know the search engines. And uh, here operating systems, operating system uh, you are taking means uh, see the early stages uh, Windows ninety eight uh, something there, then Windows XP and Windows Vista and Windows seven, Windows eight, Windows eight point one, uh, and now Windows ten, latest Windows eleven. Okay, so your content should be you know, uh, you know, uh, easily to adapt you now using the you know, Windows 7, then Macintosh uh, OS, uh, then Linux, uh, Linux, uh, and Ubuntu. Okay, so many, uh, you know, softwares are uh, operating softwares available. So that software should be supported, right? Your document should be supported. And uh, see, when you are, we are, we are downloading it, you are, you know, the, any e content, uh, it will take some time. Okay, so the loading time, loading time between the pages. So it also should be seamless. So that and all should be you know adjusted and the speed of the downloading time. Okay, so uh, the appropriate technology should be used uh, for downloading the particular content. Suppose if you are downloading, it will take you no know, some time. For example, scrolling, 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 it will take you no know, more time. Okay, it means it will be irritate and it will be reduce the concentration or reduce the interest about the particular you know the particular content. So. We should be technically, uh, we should be maintaining a proper uh, minimum standards, the technical standards for preparing the notes and uploading. So, whatever content you have prepared, that's a soft copy. Okay, maybe the Word or PDF or the PPT, right? You should be uploaded into the website, right? Or any uh, thing. Okay, so that time, so any, uh, any uh, you know, learners or students can download your, your e content from anywhere else in the world. So, so it should be commonly used. See, we can ask, hey, we are using only the VR Google Chrome and Internet. Why you should use Opera and uh, Opera and you know, Mozilla Firefox? And that means, uh, right, your material not only for, uh, you know, for only for particular students. So, anybody can access the, the, you know, any part of the world, uh, right, any students or any faculty can access your material. So, maybe they are in the particular country, foreign country, they are using different softwares. So, so that time, your material should be supported. Okay, so in India, mostly we are using the Windows, right? So Windows, but uh, but foreign countries you take you no know, Linux, Ubuntu, and uh, so many different operating systems they are using. So you should be think about the, the other countries also. So and internet speed, internet speed, and your server speed, everything should be checked. Okay, so it will be helpful to download your your e content very fastly, and uh, it will be reduce the time and as well as increase the you know, interest and the curiosity of what you are e-content. So we should be in a the minimum uh, technical standards, appropriate technical standards in your e-content. And display standards. Okay, display standards means okay, whatever content you are designed, okay, so it should be appropriate colors should be displayed. So because uh, the you know background and uh, the you know the front and uh, you know foreground and uh, you know the you know the background you should use the appropriate colors so because uh, right now you are slight color background color one different color and the front uh, maybe white color or you know, blue color something see here in this slide also you see the background different color 
but the fixed color is okay not the white color but the inside this some lines also given the lines are blue color so this and all to you uh, know to differentiate uh, you know the uh, differentiate the points here we are not using any uh, you know uh, the bulletins but uh, we are uh, differentiating the points by using this some lines right so the lines in the, the sense of you know the blue color lines it will be differentiate one point to another point and using the same color okay heading one color and the content also same color white color we are using okay if you want to if you want to change it you can change it but, uh, so according to your uh, your interest under whatever colors you are using you should be you know visible in the you know based upon the you know, screen background suppose uh, here the background is the black color i am using the same well, black color means uh, it is not attractive so if i using the contrast color means it is easy to visible and easy to you no know, uh, easy to you know, attract the audiences and uh, the you know, consistent text size consistent text size means uh, okay, whatever font size you are uh, choosing the same font size should be used entire you know notes entire e context should be used okay so for example model 1 you are using you not know, font number uh, you know font size 12 then model 2 uh, font size uh, 11 right that is wrong and also the font you know model 1 you are using times new roman model 2 arial so that is also wrong so the same font size same font name and the same color should be used right so that is that is a very very important and uh, whatever text you are using so that one should be easy to uh, visualize and uh, uh, it should be avoid the any uh, mistakes uh, and it should be you know uh, more clarity so what the text should be more clarity so that's why we are using the times new roman and the arial nowadays uh, some uh, so, you know uh, some of the persons using verdana verdana are so good but commonly we are using okay, times new roman and the arial like this and all and uh, same thing is uh, you know uh, it should give you some sufficient space okay, line by line okay each and every paragraph each and every point uh, should use some uh, you know the bulleting points uh, some arrow marks uh, and some space some space means uh, maybe uh, one line space one point line space uh, two line space uh, we can use and also the margin the margin also left side margin right side margin top uh, bottom everything should be used the proper, proper margin size and the alignment alignment means single alignment uh, single size you know single line alignment uh, 1.5 line alignment uh, you no know, double alignment uh, like that okay what what now what alignment you are you know size is using same thing should be used right that and all very very important and uh, the pop up screen okay whenever we are you not know, any persons are downloading your material uh, e content from the website uh, so that time one uh, one, uh, one, uh, one one icon will come okay pop up screen okay so the pop up screen some dal it should be calculate and 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 you know avoid uh, that of pop up screens right for example mouse over appropriate area should be used okay so the pop up screens that containing some explanations some calculations should appear only on demand okay whenever you now the users you know the the required so then only you know should be so so that and all should be checked and then whatever important points that we can highlight the effects highlight means what for example any important headings means we can highlight right so here in this slide also right each and every points uh, you know we are using some bold okay the bold text okay so the thing is uh, the why we are using bold means uh, right the highlighting the points okay so it will you know, because uh, they, you know the students cannot read uh, sometimes they, they want to uh, read full paragraphs but if you are using the some you know some uh, some highlight the uh, the points uh, maybe underlines or bold uh, at different colors right it will be helpful uh, to the you know students to you know i uh, understand the important the points so the display standards uh, very very important the colors uh, font size uh, font name uh, and line space uh, then margins uh, alignments uh, right and uh, the highlight the important points uh, these are all very very important and uh, then curriculum and pedagogical care standards okay so whatever content you are preparing you should be Uh, based upon the ugc curriculum because you know the higher education institutions uh, they are following the instructions under you know the guidelines of you know the university grant commission so so we should be follow the you know as per the you know, ugc the guidelines okay so so that is the minimum uh, the standard should be prepared 
the follow right and also and also uh, we should use you now the aims the aims means so whatever syllabus you are taking the curriculum you are taking the first thing is uh, right you no know, aim aim of the particular programs and uh, the particular course uh, and the course objectives course outcomes uh, so these and all is there okay so that and all should be clearly mentioned in the each and every module because if you take any syllabus right so uh, the curriculum means uh, first aim of the particular program aim of the particular course uh, then uh, particular course objective each and every subject uh, they have uh, some course objectives then course outcomes uh, available and uh, if you if you want to learn the particular subject uh, uh, particular subject what are the skills required right that and all should be clearly you know mentioned in the you know model and uh, your e tech should be prepared as per the you know as per the you know uh, based upon the you know the aims uh, and the uh, objectives and outcomes of the subject right then then uh, then your learning object should be promotes uh, acquiring knowledge because why you know main purpose for preparing the e content uh, is to Now it's okay, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So, so you should be used the you know eighty one eighty one you know uh, strategy like you know the font size, the uh, British views, uh, and uh, the content should be more accurate. Okay. So that is very important. And the content should be you know up to date and the latest one. So if you are giving the old uh, information, means uh, that is a uh, Wrong and the examples uh, and the illustrations. Uh, everything should be live. Example should give and the latest example should give. And the one more very very important thing is uh, your content uh, without any error, any no grammatical error and the spelling mistakes uh, and uh, any typical uh, errors uh, should be avoided. Right. So that and all very very important. And the, and the one more thing is as per the UGC, right? The content, the learning object uh, should be stimulate the stimulate and uh, stimulate and motivate the learners who are all. Attending or you are who are all you know, downloading and reading of your material, it should be you know, very attractive and very very interesting manner. Okay, even your content is very good, but uh, the presentation, how you are presenting, the alignment, uh, everything, 
if it is good beach sir it will be attract and it will be motivated that one and that's why for motivating and stimulating the, the learners sir, you should use the you no know, the suitable the graphics and the animations some colors different colors some backgrounds okay background colors font size colors sir, and alignment this and all helpful to to the, you know i uh, you know the learners to uh, to uh, to you know uh, to get the more interest uh, about your subject and the content deliverable okay what once you have prepared the content uh, how we can deliver okay so it should be uh, you know uh, video video uh, you know video okay we are coding that minimum 20 minutes to no, 30 minutes you know if it's more than 30 minutes means uh, it will reduce the in uh, reduce the concentration and interest among the you no know, you know learners so the video, whatever video programs you are uploading should be minimum 25 minutes maximum 30 minutes uh, duration and uh, the second thing is uh, the resolution okay because uh, the video resolution is very less means uh, right so that you know the color and the font uh, and all uh, not attractive so you should use the the minimum 25 mbps on the optical disc so then only you can get the high resolution of the files next low resolution files okay so uh, so whatever you no know, the mp4 file format you are uploading right it should be you no know, uh, 500 kbps like that we can use next the e content e content whatever e content you are preparing the separate template it should be prepared okay so uh, then only it will be understandable and uh, this one uh, the media centers media centers means uh, like you know the mocks uh, online courses uh, so these are all separate uh, you know uh, separate you no know, uh, the centers are available so mock uh, okay, mock means uh, you know uh, media centers for development of mocks uh, online courses what you know various universities nowadays uh, offering online courses uh, so that and all you know uh, that time you should be use the you know uh, this uh, the content okay video content and uh, the copy of all items okay copy of all, uh, all items we can use uh, under uh, this one text files text files should be you know objectives okay so the text file means first slide i explain now the first e text e text okay objectives uh, summary and uh, the alignment uh, then if you know if you know uh, frequently asked questions uh, then multiple choice questions uh, then uh, you know uh, you know the true or false uh, some assignments uh, then uh, you know glossary Uh, glossary some links uh, the references uh, the web resources this and all we can uh, you know give in the uh, give in your model and and what for you know the, you, know, the, you can you know you can give this some link for download the e books so because uh, whatever things you are uh, you know you are giving the e content format uh, so you can give this some links for downloading your uh, you know uh, materials maybe the video format pdf format document or you know the ppt so different uh, you know versions different options you can give to the you know uh, you know learners to download the materials suppose if you give the pdf and word so according to the according to their you no know, interest they can download anything okay or otherwise you can give these you know, some video options okay mp4 options or no ppt options different options give means it will be helpful to download your content and they can refer Okay. Any questions? Please ask me. The session is open for discussion now. You can unmute and interact with the resource person, or you can post your questions in the chat box. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. हेलो सर एम आई ऑडिबल सर इट्स ऑडिबल सर फॉर क्रिएटिंग द ई कंटेंट इन द वीडियो फॉर्म व्हिच सॉफ्टवेयर इज सुटेबल कैन यू रेफर सर सर सॉफ्टवेयर सर आई एम यूजिंग यू नो ऑफिस 365 दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल प्रेजेंटेशन सॉफ्टवेयर सर राइट सर सो Uh, normally you know we can use the in the ms ms office that is enough but nowadays the latest versions are available okay uh, ms office you no know, 2007 10 13 16 19 is there 
right uh, so compared with this software okay, you know very simple very uh, you know uh, lowest cost uh, office 365 so this is a very excellent uh, uh, you know software right for our purpose for academic purpose this software is enough lot of uh, options uh, lot of you no know, add in options are available right so i suggest uh, for our presentation simple presentation for preparing the e content uh, so we can use the you know you know office 365 here what is the use means uh, suppose if you are downloading any pdf uh, we can convert into you know the word document and we can convert into pre you know ppt and different uh, uh, different you no know, uh, Add in, uh, you know, the you know, features are available, sir. So here we can use some graphics. Let's see, whatever today I'm using, you know, sir. This is the you know, Office the 365 software user. But if I'm using this preprinted presentation in the MS Office, the MS Office other version means uh, these options are not available. Okay, so that is a very, very, very thing. And uh, for academics purpose, we can use uh, this uh, software for presentation. Very easy. And for alignment. Uh, And everything, say for e content at all, we are preparing. Normally, we are preparing the you know uh, MS Word. Okay, so MS Word. So so many features are available in Office 365. Okay, so because we are long you now for so many years we are using uh, MS Office. But if you are trying to use Office 365, then so you will get some different kind of experience. Okay, so and it will be very easy to present and it will be easy to prepare the e content and even the grammar. a uh, gram you know, uh, for checking the grammar and all you know inbuilt is available right so i suggest you no know, office 365 software to prefer the you know the notes uh, e content and the for presentation sir okay thank you sir okay the same one more thing sir this same uh, office, office 365 we can make some recording of options available so Sir, your voice is breaking. Anything more? Any questions? Any other questions? We can post the queries in chat box also. Any other questions? You can unmute and interact with sir, or can post your questions in chat box also. So, think there are no questions from their side. So, shall we wind up, sir? on behalf of iot academy we thank dr gurusami sir 
for the informative, enriching, and enlightening session. We thank you once again for the amazing presentation, sir. We thank you for enhancing our knowledge with the commendable presentation. We thank you very much for your efforts, sir. I thank all the participants for joining the session today. Kindly submit the feedback form using the link that will be posted in the chat box. Thank you all. Have a great day. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your efforts. Kindly submit the feedback form using the link that has been posted in the chat box. Thank you all. Have a great day. The recorded videos will be shared in the group. Indrajit, ma'am, I have posted the link again, ma'am. You can try accessing it, ma'am. Indrajit, ma'am, I have posted the feedback link again. You can access it, ma'am.